All right, folks. The Nemesis, special tier 8 British medium tank. It's not premium, it's a special category. So no hold the ops for this vehicle, right? Question mark. But this vehicle is practically a Chieftain Light, or Boy Chieftain. So derivative of a Chieftain chassis, just not as big or as well sloped as the turret front on a Chieftain, so more compact, more rounded per se. It has a big tumor on top, looks like the recent FSV Scheme A, the tier 7 British car thing, so big tumor, big weak spot. But the turret front is thick, it's about 250 millimeters baseline, so with the sloping, you're not penetrating the turret unless you shoot the tumor. The hull front is only 70. They moved the driver hatch from the middle to the starboard side because British people. And it's okay of a hull front, but it's not exactly that thick. So no Centurion armor, in a sense. It's more like the Mark 1 Centurion or Mark 3 Centurion in that aspect. So only go hull down, try to wiggle around the turret, prevent shots to the cupola. But the main feature of this vehicle is the 110mm main gun. So the second highest alpha for a medium tank at tier 8. The highest is the Chimera with the 127mm. So this thing does 420 alpha blaze it. But I think it's like the recent PR68P or the WZ122TM. So low DPM but high alpha and decent penetration. Now this vehicle is somewhat nimble, but not the fastest. Decent horsepower per ton ratio, just not as fast. So let's go through the main stats. 110 millimeter, 225 millimeters of pen for AP round. Shell velocity for AP is also not half bad. So that's a plus. Also APCR for gold shell will go through space armor, but only 280. It's okay. It's better than 250 or 260, but for 20 alpha, High Explosive is actually not half bad. 90 is alright. It would be better to have about 120 or so, but it's still better than 50 or something about the ballpark. Uh, 530 Alpha for High Explosive with that DPM. You have to have Intuition. So, okay. So DPM is not great, but accuracy and aim time is pretty decent. 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation, 50 rounds, no problem there. Fits all the Centurions of the crew, so a little bit better than the the cars. The cars lacks a loader, unfortunately. Horsepower per ton ratio is 21.7, which is actually very nimble. The downside to it is only 40 km per hour top speed. Reverse is pretty decent too. 18 km per hour top speed for going backwards. Hull traverse is quick. Tur traverse is alright, respectable, but 1400 health. It's a little bit more chunkier than the sniper medium tanks, which is good. Only 70 at the hull front and 254 at the turret front, so always go hull down. Side armor is not great, so don't expect to side scrape, but you do have space armor with the side skirts. Okay. Uh, 50 is. I wouldn't say that great, so don't really side scrape, but 390 meters of view range, not half bad. And radio is standard. So armor wise, always go hull down with this vehicle, practically. But it is a large caliber gun. Pretty big. Also the coax seems like a at least 20mm auto cannon. We cannot even use secondary armaments, unfortunately. <laughs> DPM is about 1550 with a full crew of 100% trained full crew. So that's ah, the same ballpark as a WZ122TM or the PR68P I think the Revalorize and the STG has a little bit better DPM than 1500 so accuracy is actually not bad aim time also pretty decent dispersion we we'll have to check with the actual vehicle model later on 10 degrees gun depression 20 elevation traverse is quick just the reload is pretty slow that's a downside health is, health is respectable Armor is good on the turret, otherwise mediocre. Like I said, it's nimble but not the fastest. It can move about pretty quickly in a circle or in a, a rotation pattern, but not the fastest to go anywhere. Camo sucks. 
it's like a patent and view range is actually not half bad I mean it could be better like 400 meters of view range but it's okay respectable so this vehicle seems okay I mean it is about the gun but we already have a chimera with about the same role aspect for this vehicle it is versatile interesting 50 rounds pretty decent you won't run out of ammo but it's not a premium it's a special tank so no credit making capabilities unfortunately it is a 110 and it kind of reminds me of putting a tier 10 gun from a somewhat of a medium tank light tank onto a medium tank chassis so this reminds me of the same gun that is on the concept number five the recent car thing so put it onto a centurion chassis and there you go <laughs> it's like with a borer esque take the ebr's turret from the 105 from the tier 10 strap it onto a batch at 12t and there you go premium tier 8 don't give wargaming any ideas <laughs> So equipment wise, practically the same equipment loadout. I would expect the same as a Chimera or Centurion. So depending on the dispersion factor, the Chimera doesn't have the good, that good of dispersion. So you might want vertical stabilizer, but Rammer is of course a must have. So Rammer, likely optics. You could put turbocharger instead of vents, but we have to see the actual dispersion. Maybe vertical stabilizer if the dispersion sucks but let's see chimera has 0.2 while moving the hull and traversing the hull the turret rotation is all right but this one is kind of bad for a medium so don't shoot the main gun on the chimera with moving the vehicle uh, it's it's not great so i would say still rammer is guaranteed optics is still probably guaranteed maybe vents maybe vertical stabilizer it's also not the fastest so turbocharger would be actually pretty good based on the horsepower per ton ratio it could rev up just doesn't go anywhere fast so yeah maybe turbocharger so same with the centurion 5.1 we have rammer optics and turbocharger all the slots now for it's ver versatile it's not assault like with the centurion interesting interesting all right so they don't have a difference at tier 8 but let's take a look at fuel mods so better traverse or less penalty to your ammo rack damage or fuel tank damage or gun damage there's no fuel tank never mind <laughs> uh with the traverse i say if you are expecting hits then go with the first one but for example the centurion mark one has a good turret doesn't have that good of a hull it's only 76 at the hull front and not as well sloped as the nemesis so i'm not expecting that many hits i would prefer to have better traverse but this one's up to you both are decent i guess but second one is dispersion while moving or aim circle size now granted this vehicle has already decent aim circle size so 0.32 you could take a hit to 0.33 but with better dispersion i think i did the same for the chimera hmm. and camo or reverse speed now if you put turbocharger on this thing it already has a decent boost to reverse speed but this will go a little bit faster you already have garbage camo anyways but mm, i don't know camo is i mean holy crap centurion doesn't have that good of a camo also i put this on centurion because sniping quote unquote uh <sighs> Ah, it's a toss-up. That's this one's up to you for the last slot on um, field modification. So camo is not great. It, by all means, it's not great. But at least it's about the same when you're moving, when you're stationary. So okay, <laughs> okay. How much would I rate this thing? It is a thick turret front, and hull armor is only 70. So always hull down. No side scraping. None of that stuff. Wiggle the turret about throw off the shots to the commander cupola but commander cupola is pretty big i mean it's bigger than a centurion definitely bigger than a centurion holy crap so when you're gun depressed it's smaller on the centurions for the commander cupola also it has a lip 
So Centurions have a decent lip to the front of the Commander Cupola. So you can actually throw off some shots with this lip. So it's even bolted right here. Interesting. But yeah, this is a <laughs> this is a FSV cupola just with more periscope on top. So I've been playing this vehicle. Yeah, it's like that. It's practically about the same, just with more periscopes and a machine gun, but it's pretty big. <laughs> I would say it's not a premium. It would be more interesting if this was a premium, but same category as a PR-68 or the WZ-122TM. I put all the high alpha guns onto this list. We already covered the PR-68. It is a 120? 120, but only 400 alpha. This thing is somewhat mobile, but not the fastest, only 55. The Nemesis has better horsepower turn ratio than this thing, but this thing is faster. So it plays about the same play style, but this thing doesn't have the turret armor. It has the accuracy and the aim time, just low DPM. So about the same play style aspects, whereas the Nemesis have some capability of bouncing shots with the turret. Some. Not much, but some. So, you people like the WZ-122TM for some reason. I mean, it is a decent accuracy of a gun, but the DPM sucks. <laughs> you could bounce a few shots with the turret, but... Uh, ick. <laughs> I don't know why you guys like this vehicle. I never got one, but I would prefer to play with the T-34-3 if you already have the cupola on top. But then again, eh, the penetration is not there. Oh well. So I would say maybe... Ooh. If this thing was a premium, I would say 6 out of 10. But currently, it's not. So I would say 5.5. If this thing will have 2000 DPM, it will be a little bit better. If this thing will have 50 or 55 kilometers per hour top speed, it will be better. But it's not. So... It is nimble, but it's not the fastest. Would I prefer this vehicle over something of a Centurion 5.1? Probably no. I mean, this thing has 20 horsepower per ton ratio, even with a turbocharger. But the upside is, no tumor on top. <laughs> and a little bit better DPM, right? So, uh, it's also a premium. You cannot, you cannot doubt that, but the camo on this thing sucks. Holy crap. Did I even have the optic? No, I didn't. I did not have the optics on the combat version of a Centurion 5.1. Oh, it's assault compared to the Mark 3 version. So this one's more aggressive compared to the Tech Tree version, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, the camo sucks. At least this thing could take a few hits. Q plus small. I would say 5.5 out of 10. Well, there you go, folks. The Nemesis is not a premium special tier 8 British medium tank. So what's also interesting is, are we getting a third season or third set of personal missions? I mean, we could rub the M48 patent that we recently covered with the 120mm. That's not a premium. That's a tier 9 special. So we could put that as a, another reward. But then again, the tier 10 would be likely the Object 452 or the MBTB. That will be interesting. The patent is not a premium. It's not even on here. I'm using the standard client. Damn it. <laughs> Trust me on it. It's on the test server. It's not a premium. So, now yeah, could see a third set of personal missions. That will be interesting. But then again, why would you give out two tier 8 special British medium tanks with about the same performance, right? This thing does the same thing. Hold down with a large caliber gun that doesn't have the DPM, but no garbage garbage accuracy, or no, garbage uh, camo with decent accuracy, decent aim time, and mobility is mostly about the same, just less horsepower per turn ratio, but better top speed. Yeah, why would you have two British medium tank as special personal mission reward? That doesn't make sense. They could change it, obviously. They could change it, like with the UDES, 03 all three at tier 9 but we'll have to see well there you go folks the nemesis so as always thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it kind of ramble on a little bit at the end there <laughs> but as always i'll see you guys next time peace 
沈むように溶けてゆ